up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the show. So, I'm doing a review on Eternals, which, by the way, to Rotten Tomatoes, screw you, it wasn't that bad. The movie is actually good. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I had some misgivings about it, you know? There's some stuff I didn't like, but other than that, it was a good movie. It was just, in my mind, back, it wasn't even a standard Marvel movie. I'm going to put it like that. So, before I get into this, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, and send me some likes. With that said, let me get in with this review. So, first thing first, it wasn't your standard Marvel movie. The format is slightly different, I'm going to say. So, it wasn't all, it was still your team building type of movie, but other than that, you get the, they always work together already, and then they disbanded. That's not a spoiler, so, oh, yeah, there'd be no spoilers in here. I'm going to try my best not to give any type of spoilers that much, or at least none of the good spoilers anyway, but, yeah. So, they were together, then it disbanded. We already know that, because you see that in the trailer, but... The movie, how can I put this? Mm, is a cross between Gods and Galaxy and the Avengers put together. And, oh, and that, it's a good movie. I enjoyed it. Now, there's some things in the movie that is kind of weird. Like, they're Celestials. They all look the same. Like, maybe different color, but... The faces look the same. They could at least change that much of it. Like, give a different. Like, they had different names, but the faces still look the same. Like, they all look the same. I don't know why. But, oh, why not? Yeah. But, my favorite person out of this whole movie was, um, oh, I forgot his name. The, the Indian guy. Uh, well, I ain't trying to say pronounce his name because I don't want to get it messed up. But, yeah. The Indian guy, which was, hold up, let, let me check it. Let me check his name. I don't want to get it wrong. Hold up. The Indian guy was Kingo. Yeah, Kingo. Yes. He is my favorite. And when you watch this movie, you will see why. Oh, wasn't that? And then I always get her name wrong. It's Thena, not Athena. It's Athena, which was played by, um... Damn, I forgot her, uh, Angelina Jolie. How am I going to forget her name? To see her in another superhero movie, it's kind of weird, but I like this version of Athena. Because I don't know that much about Eternals. I didn't know maybe like three, like Cersei, I know Gigamish, and I know um, Icarus. Oh, by the way, and Icarus, oh my God. I don't know if they planned this or not, but he seems so motionless. Like, he just have no emotions when he talk or act. And I think maybe that's how they wanted him to act in this movie. But he just seems so weird, just straightforward. Just, my name is Icarus. I love you. It's just no feeling whatsoever, but... Oh, why not? It was a good movie. I'm not gonna lie. It was a very good movie. But the the, the girl who runs fast, um, Makari. Oh, this is how Marvel should have done Quicksilver. The way she ran and did everything, Quicksilver should have done been like that. They must change their format on how to do speedsters because Makari's speed was perfect. It was nice. They should have done Quicksilver like that. Hell, they should do the Flash kind of like that. But it was good. And then one of them actually have some type of all-timers, which is kind of cool, but deadly at the same time. Alright? Now, I'm not giving you all spoilers or a hint like that, but yeah. And they may... Uh, well, we all know Dane Whitman is, is in this movie also. And too many water realize 
who it was. Cause they called him Dane. And I can't, and I forgot Black Knight name was Dane. I, and I forgot that. But it took me a while to realize, oh, that's Black Knight. So yeah, he's in there. And what else what else about the movie? Oh. Two end credits. So stay at the end of the movie. There's two. And oh and that. I'm not gonna give you a whole lot of reviews, a lot of um reviews about this movie. I'm not gonna tell you that much. Just gonna let you know that two thumbs up. I enjoyed it. It was a good movie. I don't know what Rotten Tomato is talking or what BuzzFeed is saying. Cause they say that they ain't like it. But I'm not a critic, so I enjoyed the movie. So next till next time, peace out. Go watch Eternal. You will like it. I guarantee it.